I'm going to describe the Thai comedy romance movie, First Kiss, today. Beware of spoilers. Sa, a 25-year-old lady, has never experienced her first kiss. She had a serious crush on Om, a popular boy in high school, but he already had Pam. Sa always knew she was not Om's type because she was a nerdy student. She continued to observe him daily in the hopes of one day becoming his girlfriend. But then, in their senior year of high school, Om and Pam both relocated to the States. She hasn't had a crush on anyone since because she was so heartbroken. Although though she hasn't seen Om in almost a decade, she is secretly still hoping for a miracle that will make him fall in love with her. The realization of Sa's dream occurs one day during a high school reunion. Om, who recently got back from America, shows up at the party and expresses a stronger interest in her. She asks him if he's single, but she's nervous, and he says yes. The two exchange phone numbers with the intention of going out on a date later. Sa rushes to the loo to collect herself after jumping. Her long-awaited wish has now materialized. The two start dating on that day. Maham and Jen, two of Sa's co-workers, have noticed that Om frequently forgets to drop Sa off at work. They mock her for finding a wealthy and attractive boyfriend in a humorous manner. They prepare her for it because they are aware that this is not her first kiss. Sa is already apprehensive, but their advice on how to kiss better makes her much more so. She sits next to a senior named Bass as they ride the bus home that evening. Everyone stands up to observe an accident outside the road. Bass and Sa inadvertently lock lips while adjusting. Although Sa is frightened, Bass laughs it off. She had hoped to share her first kiss with the man of her dreams, but she is now left feeling let down because a high schooler snatched it. He chuckles behind her as she runs out after hurling her phone at him in retaliation. She realizes at home that she neglected to request her phone back. Bass won't return her call when she calls from her home number. To get her phone back, he jokingly issues her a challenge to learn what school he attends. His classmates note that he is disorganized the following day at school. Bass is unable to stop thinking about the irate bus lady. The principal's office is to be visited by everyone named Bass, according to a message over the loudspeakers. When he arrives at the office with the others, he learns that Sa is the one who contacted them. She recognized his name from yesterday's school outfit. He is thrashed by the principal as a result of having to give her the phone back against his will. Sa brings him to a nearby restaurant for lunch after feeling awful for him. Bass's constant calling of her aunt causes the two to argue there. Sa implores him to call her sister, but he declines. He decides to address her by name instead. While they are conversing, Sa receives a call from Om asking her out on a date to a restaurant. She visits the aforementioned eatery a few hours later and spots Bass at one of the tables. He argues that their meeting is a mere coincidence, but Sa is certain that he overheard her speaking to Om on the phone. She ignores him and joins her date at the table. He tries to kiss her as he drives her home after supper. A street vendor selling garlands knocks on his window as he approaches and ruins the lovely scene. After the interaction, Om awkwardly drives away, leaving Sa dissatisfied. She later learns that Bass is the person selling the garlands. Sa asks him what he wants in a frustrated tone and offers to pay if it will get him to leave her alone. Bass wants to take her out on a date to the movies instead of asking for her money. She agrees to get rid of him once and for all. She dresses up nicely the following day in an effort to humiliate him and give the impression that they are not a couple. The scheme is successful, but when other teenage females refer to her as Bass's mother, she feels much worse. Bass seemed to be preoccupied with something. Ohm is seen hanging out with another girl as he pulls her to the side. Sa is surprised to discover Pam, his high school girlfriend, is the other girl. Ohm looks at her intently but presents a blank expression. Bass reveals that Pam is a friend of his and that he knew something wasn't right when he spotted Sa out with Ohm yesterday. He brought her here in order to expose Ohm to her true self. Sa is devastated after learning that her first love betrayed her. She shares the incident with her co-workers the following morning. Up until Bass shows up to their office and appears to be Sa's new man, they feel awful for her. She has earned the admiration of Maham and Jen for being the best in the dating world. They all go out to eat together, and Om floods Sa's phone with messages. Yet out of consideration for her, Bass grabs her phone and forbids her from calling him. He simply walks away with her phone when she starts to argue. 
She goes to meet him at his school the following day dressed as a high school girl in order to get it back. Base is happily surprised when he sees her. He offers her the phone and invites her to skip class with him. She is forced to flee from the teacher despite the fact that he is not even a pupil. The two eventually wind up in the scientific lab, which reminds Sa of her school days. She used to stay in the lab for hours to watch Ohm practice basketball because the lab's window offers a clear view of the court. The teacher is suddenly looking for them when she shows up. The two are able to escape once more by sneaking through the tables. Sa realizes she forgot her money in the lab after having fun for several hours around the school. Bass won't join her as she tries to retrieve it. He calls her and tells her to check out the window when she is by herself in the lab. He is smiling at her while standing on the basketball floor. She forgets her 10-year love for Ohm after hearing him sing a corny love song to her. They meet at the staircase, where he gives her a kiss and asks her out. Sa is a little taken aback, but she agrees. Beginning that day, the two ride the bus together, get off at the same stop, go on weekend dates, and have a great time together. Although they both like Bass, Maham and Jen are unaware that he is in high school. Sa is afraid of how they will respond, so she chooses not to inform them. Yet after only a few weeks of dating Bass, Maham learns on Facebook that Bass is only 17 years old. They make an effort to convince Sa that she cannot stay with him. She will be close to menopause when he is prepared for marriage. Sa dreads having to talk to Bass about these issues, although knowing that she will eventually have to deal with them. She shares her worry with him later as they wait for the bus. Bass admits that he has also thought about it and prepared a plan for their entire life together. Even as she gets older and isn't expecting a child since they can just adopt, he swears never to look at other women. He only desires to spend the rest of his life with her. Sa is moved by his comments and begins to saw. He invites her inside to wash her face as they stroll to his house. Sa concurs, but is taken aback when three guys enter and immediately begin thrashing Bass. She attempts to fight the men at first, but Bass reveals that they are his father and his bodyguards. Bass plays in the highly successful school musical band. His father, who thinks music is the reason for his poor grades, forbids him from pursuing music. Because he knew Bass attended a band practice that day, he forced the bodyguards to beat him up. Bass, who is ashamed, apologizes and makes a commitment to go home after dropping Sa off. He begs her to let him stay the night when they get to her flat though because he is afraid his father would beat him up once more. Sa takes the bed, and Bass lies on the floor as the two fall asleep while conversing. She gives him the apartment's keys the following morning so he may come back whenever he likes. She is doing it in front of Maham and Jen, who believe she and Bass shared a bed the night before. The two admonish her that their relationship won't work out and cast doubts in Sa's head. Sa informs Bass that she will not be able to complete a new assignment before the deadline that evening at supper. Yet he doesn't even comprehend the rudimentary office jargon. She becomes aware that perhaps they are not as compatible as she had assumed. Sa is busy and concerned about the project the following day at the office. Ohm shows up out of nowhere and offers assistance by seeking out independent contractors who will handle the file for her. Sa is, to put it mildly, startled. Ohm admits that he was only engaged to Pam because of their son and that they were never in love. But now that they are officially over, he wants Sa back in his life. He receives no responses from her that he interprets as affirmative. Bass gets unhappy when Sa texts him the news of Ohm's arrival. He visits his friend's dorm room instead of going back to the flat. He has plans to work as a bar singer to earn some money while he waits because he is concerned that his father's goons are constantly on the lookout for him. He visits Sa's flat the following morning but finds her leaving with Ohm. He still had faith that she wouldn't desert him. As he arrives to meet her at her place of employment, Ohm is there to greet her in the foyer. He informs Maham and Jen that he has a trip planned for her for the next vacation. As Bass overhears the dialogue, he becomes enraged. Sa is waiting for him at the band rehearsal where he storms off. She tries to make up, but Bass brusquely tells her to stop. Even knowing Bass won't be coming home that night, Sa goes back to his house and sets up his sleeping quarters. Ohm invites Maham, Jen, and Sa to a restaurant the following day. But because Pam refuses to watch him, he is late with his one-year-old. Sa asks him whether he still has feelings for Pam, but Ohm says no. He is on the phone with Pam, 
so he doesn't pay attention to what she is saying. Sa requests that he cease acting since she shares his sentiments. Despite the fact that they are both in love with someone else, they are trying to act logically. After much deliberation, Ong comes to the conclusion that he has been in love with Pam since they were in high school. Sa opened him eyes to the truth, and he thanks her before leaving. He takes Sa and her co-workers to a bar the following day to reward her for being such a nice friend. By chance, Bass performs at the same club as the vocalist. The business owners set up a contest where clients can bid to get a kiss from Bass. The highest bidder will prevail. Maham puts out his highest bid, but to his astonishment, Pam, who is also present at the club, keeps boosting the money. Finally, Maham triumphs, but she denies Saw the prize. She approaches the platform despite her skepticism and kisses Bass. Then he storms off and leaves with Pam in the car. Pam's employer is revealed to be Bass's father when Saw and Ohm converse about her. She takes Bass to his father elsewhere. Against his will, the man wants to send him to America for further education. After being led outside, Bass meets Saw. Bass turns back and enters the vehicle. As she tries to clean the blood off his face with her hand. Saw doesn't give up and chases it as it drives off. Bass commands the driver to stop, but he just approaches her to apologize before sprinting back to the vehicle. Saw is finally left sobbing in the street. She continues to work for the same company five years later. Although a lot has happened in her life, she still remembers Bass. She had a fantasy one night where he is taking care of her as she sleeps. Bass is actually on her balcony when she awakens. He entered the flat at night using the old keys he had saved. Saw rubs his face as she struggles to accept that he has returned at last. They embrace as the film comes to a close. Turn on the notice. Turn on your subscription for more videos like this, and leave a like to support.